I am two months post-dimpleplasty surgery. There is a lump, not painful, on one side. What is it? Two months post-op, dimpleplasty done overseas. Lump on one side, not painful, but doesn't seem to be getting smaller. Is this a cyst or hematoma? Do I need to get it drained? Or is this the normal healing process? How can I get rid of the lump, please? Is this normal? Will it go away eventually? Thank you for your question. You've submitted a question with a single photo. In that photo, you describe having a lump. Uh, this is now two months after having dimpleplasty. And you're asking, is this normal? Does it need to be drained? Well, I can share with you my thoughts uh, on your question. This is, of course, in the absence of a physical examination. A little bit of background. I'm a board-certified cosmetic surgeon, fellowship-trained oculofacial, plastic, and reconstructive surgeon. I've been in practice in Manhattan and Long Island for over 20 years, and our practice is actually well known for dimpleplasty, amongst many other things. In fact, we've been uh, featured in various media about this interesting procedure, which not a lot of doctors perform. So although I don't know the specifics of the type of procedure that you had done, I can explain a little bit of what the principle is and what is concerning to me based on this photo. So the concept of dimpleplasty is to create what nature would have otherwise created, which is this connection or a, a defect in a muscle called the buccinator muscle. It's done from the inside of the mouth typically and sometimes a combination of outside and inside uh, depending on surgeon's preference. But basically you're trying to create this connection so that when a person smiles they get a dimple. And generally speaking the procedure, the way I do it, I do it from the inside of the mouth most of the time and I will find that I will make these connections and in the first few months it's normal to see a dimple present almost all the time and t until the healing advances and progresses to the point where the dimple is more visible when smiling. When you describe a lump after having this procedure I would say that in the first month or so after dimpleplasty, in my hands, in my experience, you, it's, a, it's a lump you can feel, but you generally don't see. So in your situation, it looks like a lump that is persistent and elevated and has been there for some time, although you don't describe it as painful. Well, I think this is something that's outside of what is normally expected. And it, the contents of that lump is possible to be blood, it's possible to be fluid, it's possible to be saliva because the, the area where the dimple is made is close to important salivary or saliva producing structure or I should say the duct that takes the saliva from the gland and then ex play, uh, and directs it towards the inside of the mouth. So it's very important that you contact the original operating surgeon and ask about this and ask about what should be done. You know, this is something that should, it's probably best not to just wait. I think two months later to have a lump this large and this significant means that something has to be done to intervene and, exp and help improve the likelihood of successful outcome and there's also the possibility of there being a, a, a potential sore site of infection. Clearly at this point it's not actively infected but it's important to at least do something um, to address this. Um, again it, you should start by contacting the original doctor and ideally you should see the original doctor that doctor knows exactly what they did, they know what kind of stitch they placed, they know where they placed it, they already know your anatomy in a way that another doctor would not be able to know as well. Doesn't mean another doctor can't help you, but I think it's always better for the original operating surgeon to take care of any type of issues that 
occur after surgery. So again, to summarize, it isn't typical to have a lump like this two months after surgery. In fact, a lump like this is unusual at any time after surgery. Uh, it is generally normal to have some degree of constant dimpling of the skin, and it's something that does evolve over time. But this, what you're experiencing in, in my hands, in my experience, performing this operation is out of the ordinary. So I would, I would, um, as soon as possible, contact the original operating surgeon. So I hope that was helpful. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you for your question.